Hello and welcome back to another video of uh, MuleSoft 4. I am Shiva, a technical architect in MuleSoft and today we are going to talk about how to create a file dynamically with some text and the timestamp. Let's get started. So I have a AnyPoint Studio open and created a project called FileWrite and I have basically a HTTP listener with uh, a local host and the listening on port 7777 okay so I have a simple logger that's uh, is what the input payload is and let's run and see the output here so I have the advanced risk client and uh, this is a URL and I have the sample JSON with uh, simple order details with code 1234 and quantity 3 let's run and see what the output is so as expected, uh, this logger displays uh, the JSON. Now, let's uh, manipulate the input with some additional fields. And we call it as uh, create a date. And uh, So we added a new field called create a date with the current timestamp and uh, let's see what the output is. So we got the uh, new response where this create a date is added to the existing input JSON. And now we will see how to write uh, this content into the file. Choose file right here and in the file uh, let's see how to create a file with a timestamp the expression would be something like this it starts with uh, some simple text and uh, we are going to add an expression that uh, concatenates the current timestamp let's say now now function will return the current timestamp value and we are going to call it as a string type with the format uh, yyy y hyphen uppercase m for month day hour minute and second so let's uh, close this format Ensure that the entire format uh, is covered within curly brace with a key value of format and the value should be the um, date format. Close the key value pair and close this expression. Let's add the file extension txt and uh, close the complete expression. Now let's run and see the output. run it and you got the output let's check out uh, the output file location here this is the output file created and this is a payload thanks for watching this video and uh, i'll come back with another interesting topic soon please don't forget to provide your suggestions in the comment section below and uh, see you soon. Bye.